Ah, uh, yes. So you just downloaded the beautiful game of Valorant and you just hopped into your first match, but you only spawned in with a pistol? What is this? How can I get a gun? Once you finally figure out how to actually get a gun, you then encounter your first enemy. Oh my gosh, none of my bullets are hitting this guy. What's going on? Why aren't my bullets hitting my enemy? I'm literally shooting right at him. Ha, <laughs> oh boy. Well, all I gotta say is uh, welcome to Valorant. If you are new to Valorant or just looking to get better in the game, you are at the right place because today I am bringing you the ultimate beginner guide to Valorant. Let's get into the video. But before we get into the video guys, 80% of you guys are not yet subscribed. Please subscribe. It helps us out so much with the YouTube algorithm and allows us to keep bringing you bangers like this. And if you guys do want to get better at the game of Valorant and reach your desired rank of becoming diamond and beyond, watch the entire video. Don't be an iron or a noob, you know, but don't worry, you guys are going to be noobs after this video. Let's get into the video. So for those of you who are very new beginners to Valorant, Valorant is basically a 5v5 tactical shooter that uses hero type characters that each have their own unique abilities to assist you and your team help you further win around. Now, there are two sides when playing the game of Valorant. You either have your attackers or your defenders. If you're an attacker, your job is to plant the metal spike in one of the areas within a bomb site on a given map. Depending on the certain map, there will be either there are two or three bomb sites. As a defender, your job is to stop the attackers from getting the spike planted. And if they do, your job is to then retake this site, preferably with your team and not you just trying to be Rambo, which you know you will learn in our other videos, and defuse the bomb so that way you can deny the bomb from blowing up and basically going kaboom and you know killing your whole team. And if we're following the Valorant timeline or storyline, then destroying that given town or area on that map in the creative world of Valorant. So keep that in mind. When you're attacking, you want to be mean and aggressive. When you're defending, you want to be smart and defensive. These are the rule of thumbs you should stick to as a beginner when learning the game of Valorant. So now that you understand like the objectives in Valorant and basically the whole point of the game, now it's time to get you into learning about the guns and basically killing in Valorant. So if you stand completely still and shoot at a wall, the first thing you're going to notice is controlling recoil in this game is a lot harder compared to other games like Call of Duty or Rainbow Six Siege. And oddly enough, so is the way that you're meant to shoot your guns. In Valorant, the primary way to shoot your gun is through hit fire, not through aiming down the sight. So it's important to have a very nice crosshair, one that is not too annoying to look at, or one that's going to get in the way of you trying to get a kill. So if you are very, very new to Valorant, this is the crosshair that you want to use. Are you ready? You want to go into your crosshair settings and find the section of inner lines. Once you're at this section, you want to turn on your opacity to number one, the length of your crosshair to the value of number four, and you want to have the thickness and the gap of the crosshair both at the number value of two. This is a great crosshair for beginners. Uh, a lot of pros use this and so should you, especially if you haven't even, you know, kind of found your own crosshair. Now, obviously feel free to experiment with this crosshair, but this is just the default crosshair to start with if you are new. So getting back into guns, normally in traditional FPSs, you can be moving and shooting in your target fully accurately at the same time. But of course in Valorant, it's a little different. Try moving to the left or the right while shooting your weapon. Your bullets are just flying all over the place, right? Yeah, well, I'm gonna teach you how to not have this happen. It's a very simple answer. In Valorant, you wanna completely stop, then shoot. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you become fully accurate in Valorant. Congratulations. But in all seriousness, guys, one of the very first things you have to master is the ability of completely stopping your movement, then taking your shot. It may be a surprise to newer players, but this problem is so commonly seen in the entire rank system of Valorant all the way up until like plat. So this is a problem that the majority of players in Valorant face. So if you learn early on not to do this, you're going to be able to outplay the majority of players in Valorant. So now that you have the basic understanding of gunplay in Valorant, the next thing you should really focus on is getting comfortable with the weaponry in Valorant. Now listen, the only way you're gonna get truly comfortable with the weaponry in Valorant, all the weapons in Valorant, I'm talking about rifles, the snipers, pistols, you name it, you just have to play the game. That is the only way to get fully comfortable and to master the recoil and to kind of master the muscle memory needed to be able to accurately spray down with the Phantom, rifle, or whatever you're using. So just play the game, guys. There's no cheat codes, just play the game. It's definitely one of those things that you just have to 
go through it yourself in order to really get it. And for you to truly get it, you need to develop the proper muscle memory needed so that we don't have to really think about it. It's just kind of like second nature in a way. You have properly learned the weaponry in Valorant, you then want to really study the agents that are within the game. By doing this, not only are you going to be able to properly use the agents, but you're also going to be able to increase your game sense so that way you can counter the enemy team in order to win more rounds and obviously eventually rank up. The more you know an agent, and let's say that agent is being played by an enemy on the other team, by you knowing that agent, nine times out of 10, you're going to be able to kind of tell exactly what the enemy is thinking of doing. So just a quick tip for when you are playing, whenever you see an agent that you know very well on the other team, you want to think to yourself, what would I do if I was playing that agent in that player's position? The more you do this, the more you're going to increase your game sense, which is going to make you a better player, hence is going to help you rank up or just even have a better blast of playing this game. You must understand that each individual agent has its own specific role that he must fill in order to help his team secure the win. And if you don't fulfill that role for your team, then you're just going to throw the game and you're most likely going to lose. So just make sure to do your job properly. Now, I don't want to make this video way too long. I kind of just want to give you guys the general gist of things so that way you can have an understanding and be able to kind of go to our other videos and know exactly what we're talking about. So now it's time to get into the second half of the video, which I wanted to show you two clip examples of what a very beginner player looks like versus a more experienced player and what that will look like in this exercise that you can find in the practice range called Spike Diffuse. Now, really quickly, before I get into these clips, I need you to understand that this video is to help you get more comfortable with the mechanics in Valorant and also kind of like your objective in the game itself. But for you to kind of learn more about the game in terms of increasing your game sense and exactly how to actually improve or get better at the game, definitely check out the other videos we have within our channel as they will be incredibly helpful on your road to improvement. But this is just an introduction to the beautiful game of Valorant that we all love. Okay, so by watching the new player, hello new player, you guys can clearly see that the player has his crosshair more towards the hip or lower body area, which is the major first red flag of a new player, guys. You want your crosshair placement to be at the head that is like kind of like aiming in FPS shooters 101. And another thing is you can clearly see that this player has no comfortability with the weapon or movement. Now, as I said earlier on in the video, these things take time to develop. You have to kind of develop that comfortable feeling and that kind of like experience in order to like comfortably move throughout the map or play the game comfortably, fully believing in your ability to properly move and properly shoot in Valorant. Now, moving on to the more experienced player, you can clearly see the vibe is totally changed. The player has his crosshair at head level, always aiming at the head, ensuring that they're going to kill the enemy the quickest. The experienced player also has very precise movement, not overextending angle, not overexposing himself like the new player was. And you can clearly see that the experienced player is able to relax, take his time, properly aim at the head, and is not overshooting or is kind of like whiffing his shots because he can't control the weapon he's using. He's able to precisely, accurately shoot at the target that he's intending to kill. I wanted to show you these two clips so that way I can kind of give you a perspective as to the difference of what an experienced player looks like and compared to what probably you look like if you're watching this video as a beginner player. So the key things to take away from this video, guys, is obviously watch our videos because we're going to get you better. But also, guys, you guys have to play the game of Valorant if you guys really want to improve at this game. Watching videos all day when trying to get better at Valorant isn't going to really help all that much. It's good to watch videos here and there, obviously watch our videos. But at the end of the day, you need to be playing the game as much as you can. So that way you can just get familiar with everything. And then every single time you play the game, you're just going to be learning something new every single time. And you're also going to increase your comfortability feeling because that's something you're going to be used to. You're going to put yourself in more situations and then you're just going to be able to kind of like handle them better the more you play. Honestly, I wish someone told me this when I first started playing Valorant because I practically lived on YouTube and the whole reason why my journey of improvement was a little difficult for me was because I spent a lot of time on YouTube trying to find tips and trick guys, little cheat codes, thinking that the pros had some secret that I didn't know rather than just playing the game and kind of like developing my skills through playing the game. So that is it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this today's video. If you guys are new to Valorant, welcome to the Valorant community. I hope you guys like the game. Um, obviously, you know, we said a lot that, you know, we have a lot of guides in this channel, but feel free to just like kind of like export the YouTube. But one thing I will say, guys, if you guys are a beginner player looking to improve and you really want to like really get good at Valorant, I would definitely say watch pro play, um, watch pro streams, watch pro VODs. Uh, you will learn a lot on how to properly use agents, how to properly kind of maneuver around the map and kind of like the decision making. As long as you study their matches, you have a good understanding. You'll be able to kind of like develop a really good game sense within the game. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications on so you guys are notified for more bangers like this. It's been your boy Sondo and uh, yeah, I'm Audi. I love you guys. Peace.